never pay me. It worked in my favor cause nobody said Brand new whip, got no keys. Tell my clothes, no stash, please. Soon as I nut North boys throwing up cash in the bank. Sipping on juice, never had no rank. Breaking down teas, no frown, never feel no guilt. Bitch, I run this town. Run away quick when I hear that sound. Never go back when I claim that crown. Get right down. Thinking about a dog bitch in the white gown. All right, how's it going, guys? Chris here with the Supercar Suspects. Hope you guys are having a great day. We are here at the Eibach headquarters here in Corona, California, and this is their yearly car meet, and it looks absolutely insane. Just by the parking lineup, you guys can tell the inside's about to be pretty crazy. There's my ride. Oh, I see something. Ooh, ooh. Uh all right guys where to start where to start I think we're just gonna start off right here in the spoon section you guys already know my favorite section of course you guys see this McLaren it's not no ordinary McLaren wait for it yup it's on mag blue te 37s first time seeing a supercar with te 37s on it looks pretty good if you guys haven't noticed there's a ton of s 2000s here but this lineup right here is solid guys favorite one probably this last one right over here Got a pretty cool spec GT3 lost in this crowd of Honda and Acuras over here. Not to my knowledge, I believe these two are trailer down here from Canada. This has to be the nicest R8 I've ever seen in my life. Probably one of the nicest supercars I've ever seen in my life. It's just super unique. Full carbon fiber. Now, as a lot of you guys know, the last time I came to a meet like this, like a Honda VTEC type meet, I ended up buying an S2000 myself. And now I need your help. We are back at it again. I need your help. What do you guys feel about the spoon back bumper? I'm thinking about it. I got everything planned out except the back bumper. Who remembers this one from the S2000 Cruise? Such a clean setup. Now this one's not painted, so it doesn't really do it justice, but it also comes with these over fenders. So, you guys let me know what you think. Now the McLaren on the T37 has just got replaced by a Bape Aventador. Favorite part? <laughs> and just like that, guys, we are back on the road. We had to make a quick pit stop here just to check out a few of the cars. He told me it'd be good. Pretty decent turnout. Stop by for a solid hour, hour and a half. Check out all the cars just to start off today's video. Now we're gonna continue with the rest of the vlog. We're gonna crack some v tech for the boys. Are you gonna be that guy? Oh, he is that guy. Oh, Evo! Oh, and if you guys are wondering why I didn't take my car and where the S2000 has been the last week, if you don't follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, this should explain it for you guys. Well guys, we're starting the video off right here on the freeway entrance with my phone and my clutch is absolutely fried. I can't even put my foot down on the clutch to start the car. At one point actually, I pressed my clutch all the way down and it went all the way to the back, got stuck. I kind of pulled it a little bit forward to see if it worked. But yeah, it's, it's completely done. And 11 miles away from my house, it decides it wants to break down on me. So. We got a call AAA now. Well guys, I just got off the phone with AAA. At this point, we have about a 30 minute wait and they can't seem to figure out where I am because I'm on the middle of an exit ramp. So now we wait and we wait. Oh, Veloster, what the f is about time? 41 minutes later, the tow truck has came to save our day here. Oh man. Ripperoni. It's about time. I broke my Honda S2000. That's my luck for you guys. Well, guys, we made it here somewhat in one piece. It's too early for this shit, man. I really need some sleep right about now. Now, all that footage you guys just watched was from yesterday. It is now the next day, and I got to update you guys on something somewhat serious that happened last night. Now the reason the video is so short today is because we were continuing to film that vlog from the early morning Honda Acura type me. We were continuing to film and then we got into a pretty bad accident. Just doing our thing, filming the rest of our vlog at a complete standstill, get completely rear-ended at like 50, 60 miles an hour. I can't even sit straight. I don't know if you guys can tell my shoulders like kind of to the left. I'm just like leaning over because I cannot sit straight. I don't know if you guys have been in an accident like that where you get rear-ended, completely not expecting it, but your lower back and your neck does not enjoy it at all. I should probably call the other guys and see how they're doing. I'll probably do that after this video right now. Now, as you guys can imagine, when you get into an accident, the adrenaline is so high, you don't really feel anything. But yeah, the next day when you wake up, 
is not pleasant at all. You guys know me by now, I'm not one of those YouTubers that likes to extend an accident or a crash over an eight video series. Just two minutes real quick, I'm trying to explain to you guys what happened and why the video is so short today. The funny part is when we actually got into the accident, I was holding my camera up, talking, doing my thing. We get re-rendered, camera flies to the front. I go check the previous recordings. I forgot to press the record button. Now the only actual footage I have from that night that I can show you guys will be inserted right here, which was right after the accident. Holy oh. shit. Oh. Oh. Holy fuck. Door liner is inside the car. We just got rear-ended at like 60 miles an hour. We had a complete stop, so was every car in front of us. We got rear-ended by this car right here, and we went straight into that RSX. And I can't even move right now. And once again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will see you guys in tomorrow's bangers.